everyone. My name is Rasdeh and I work on this world neural ranking models. Uh, there are so many learning branch models which can be categorized from different perspectives. They can be categorized based on how a model input is represented. Based on these, we can group them into two groups. The one group is shown on the left side is the model that use human engineered features and the other is the more recent models for, uh, that can learn features from query and documents as well. Learning to learn models can be categorized based on uh, the loss function that they're optimizing, which can be pairwise, pointwise, groupwise, or listwise. There are several models for optimizing any of the each of the loss functions uh, where the input is based on human engineered features. And these voice models have shown to have a higher performance compared to the other models because this voice loss function better manage the goal of the reward test. But if no models are mainly Pointwise or pairwise loss function, and how it can affect the performance of the neural ranker. There are some neural models that their input is based on query document interaction signals like interaction metrics or histograms representing the frequency of query terms in documents or like the position of query terms in documents. These models are called early interaction neural models. These models, when they are trained using a pairwise or pointwise loss function, the obtained ranker can be biased to queries with more relevant documents. And this is because like, the network cannot distinguish if two training samples belong to the same query. So, we want to see how training a neural model with a least voice loss function can impact the performance of a retrieval task. We found that we can get better performance, less variance in gradient uh, estimation, so flatter optimizer, everything is better, but not as much as one can, I mean, one expects based on the result of feature-based learning to rank models. And why is that? One reason is about training data. A given the training data, a neural model that optimizes in this voice loss function ends up having fewer training samples than the one that optimizes a pairwise this loss function. So does that mean that we need more training data to train a model with this voice loss function? The answer is no. What we usually do to train a neural model is that we use all the samples that we have in each epoch of training. But instead of using all the uh, all samples in each epoch of training, we randomly sample the documents for each query with the condition of having at least a predefined number of relevant query documents for each query, which should be higher than five. So the result is that we have a slightly different data in each epoch of training, which can help the neural model not to memorize the training data and to be better trained. And the conclusion is that given a fixed neural architecture and fixed training data, training a ranker with the least voice loss function and query based sampling significantly outperforms the one that is trained with the pairwise loss function. And for detailed results about performance improvement and gradient behavior comes the out poster and thank you.